All right, Nick. <coughs> so first things first. Uh, fascia. Fascia is a netting. Um, it's a connective tissue, and it covers uh, pretty much all of uh, muscles and organs um, in the body. And it's all it's all connected. Um, like I was talking about with the spider web, where <coughs> if you yank on one end, it's going to affect the whole web. Um, same thing. It's like it's like a netting on a turkey or or you know like if you tug on the bottom of your t-shirt you can feel it in your um, other shoulder uh, so that, that's that's fascia um, when we have uh, fascial adhesions because uh, fascia is kind of sticky it tends to stick to itself or um, at certain joints or it'll get you know stuck together depending on uh, I don't know if you don't rehab yourself after like a very m minor injury like if you just threw wrong and your shoulder felt weird for a day you could end up having a fascial adhesion there because scar tissue will build up scar tissue is sticky um, it's also contractile and it'll kind of stick together <clears throat> anyway so uh, what will happen let me, let me let me just show you so this is anatomy trains uh, it's all about the fascial lines um, and what I mean by lines is uh, when I say they're all connected, well, this shows you uh, the line of fascia um, that uh, is connected. So here's the superficial frontal line. So it starts up here right in the front, and it comes down medial side of the arm, and then right into your palm. So if I have, for instance, um, an issue in my palm here, and something's really sticky, it's pulling on that entire web, and so I can feel it up in my clavicle right here. Um, here's another line, here's the deep frontal arm line, and that goes right under the bicep, deep, 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 and then kind of to the thumb. And you might notice uh, a certain line that you felt being pulled, like this one, this is the outside of the hand, and it goes right under the outside of the elbow. Um, and it's connected all the way up here in, in the neck. So if you're having neck problems or if you have a shoulder issue uh, and you're throwing with that shoulder, it could easily yank on that whole line and then uh, end up causing you issues at that elbow. Um, here's the last arm line. It comes right around your back. There's your shoulder blade, right? It comes right around the bottom side of the elbow, outside of the arm, and down almost to the, like, the pinky. Um, so that, that's probably what you felt uh, along with, so that, that's just fascia, right? <clears throat> so here's you. Well, it's not you, but it's somebody. Um, so if you can imagine, all of this has a netting over it, right? It's all been taken away right now um, to show the muscle, but it, all of this has a netting over it that's just uh, continuous. Um, so if, if we were to look at that... Uh, that other fascial line, let's turn him around here. So it would go a netting that went all the way down here. So let's go to here. Um, these are all the muscles, right? Let's, uh, let's hide that. Let's hide that. Let's hide a couple of these. So here's your bicep. Comes up. It's attached to this little thingy you can like stab in your shoulder and you can feel the coracoid process here this is the outside of your shoulder um, and there's another head of the bicep right bicep two by um, so there's two heads and it kind of comes down comes down to right here on um, let's kind of make these disappear a little bit let's move him over of connects right there on your bone. Um, let's hide that. Let's just delete that. Um, let's delete all of these. <whistles> and so here's here's your uh, here's your ulna, and that's the middle side of your ulna. And there's your bicep. Bloop. Attaches right there. There's your. Um, brachialis, which is the muscle under your bicep, gives you that nice uh, longer bicep look, um, and it comes around down there. Anyway, uh, if that kind of pulled up a little bit um, and pulled a little bit of this bone off, if 
because I didn't understand really quite what you were describing or if your uh, doctors had uh, told you this or not, but sometimes that can avulse and pull up into here. And so this whole thing is just gone. Uh, and it just bunches up because the muscle is contractile. It'll pull together. So it'll go like um, one of those old, uh, uh, like a projector screen or something, right? It just rolls up and it just kind of stays there. So if that's the issue, we want to pull that back down. Uh, and tack it back on. You don't really need it. Um, you wouldn't be able to do a whole lot uh, of uh, lifting type things um, if you uh, had that issue, but that that's the type of surgery that can uh, just tack that back together. Um, if we get rid of, let's see, if we get rid of the muscular anatomy here, let me show you. Okay, let's go back to here. So here's you again. See, all the, these are all nerves, right? So we can see here. This is the radial nerve. Right? Comes around. This is the median nerve. This is the ulnar nerve. And we can look at it from different angles. So here's the back side of your elbow, right? There's one of the collateral ligaments. There's the articular capsule of the elbow. There's another annular ligament of the radius, kind of holds the radius to this bone, this bone to this bone. Um, and uh, on the inside of your elbow, there's another collateral ligament right there. So both of those that are holding essentially these bones to this guy, uh, you said they, you, they suspected that they were um, torn a little bit. Uh, which ligaments heal? That's what they do. <coughs> you know, they don't heal as, as well as muscle, but um, uh, you can get them back to a certain percentage uh, strength, and you and you can do that after you kind of organize that scar tissue, make it uh, less chaotic. So it kind of when scar tissue forms, like let's say this ripped, um, and uh, half of this these fibers ripped, a bunch of scar tissue would lay down just like on top of our skin, um, and it. Uh, um, it'll lay down like uh, if you're in a boat and your boat's sinking, you just throw whatever you can into that hole to plug it up. Well, that's kind of what scar tissue does, and it lays down really chaotically. Well, um, once it's laid down, it'll kind of stick together, it'll be contractile, and it'll give it some sort of uh, foundation for strength. However, um, you want to organize that scar <clears throat> as in, uh, let's say, uh, let's use the boat analogy again. I threw a bucket and a bunch of other stuff in there. Well, now I have the proper materials. I can like take one thing out and place down and be more efficient. Um, you know, maybe if I uh, found a board or something, I take everything out, slap the board on there, hammer it down. That would be more efficient than just throwing everything I could in there. So. Um, with uh, Graston technique and other things, you you take like a, a stone or some tool with an edge and you kind of like just rub uh, that ligament and it'll bring in new cells that'll lay down uh, more fibers, etc, etc. Anyway, um, when you th said you threw the ball, uh, you can see if you, if you uh, pulled um, something, <laughs> If, if one of these nerves wasn't trapped or, or yanked on too much, uh, they go right up the arm, you know, and they can come to the, uh, they can refer pain to the scapula, your shoulder blade, like you were saying. Um, and so if you yanked on one of these, that could be it. And it could be a little bit damaged um, and a little bit angry right now. And like I said, all the swelling can press on them. All it takes is the weight of a dime to uh, reduce um, nerve function uh, significantly. Um, and so it could be sending all those little paresthesias, right? So uh, back to what we were saying, we have uh, the fascial lines, like the covering of the muscles and everything. Uh, if you had an issue at any one of those points on those uh, four fascial lines, um, whichever one was more, uh, you, whichever one you think um, might have been uh, closer to what you were experiencing. If you had an issue along any of those lines, uh, it could have ended up, you know, weakening your elbow. And so in that one throw, 
throw your arm forward, boom. Um, <clears throat> you yanked on a bunch of things, and now these guys took all the stress instead of the fascia taking the stress like it usually does. Um, and then, of course, the nerve got yanked too, <clears throat> like you said. And uh, that stuff ends up happening, right? So you got fascia, you've got the muscle um, that can pull at the bone. That's what an avulsion fracture is. And then you have um, your collateral ligaments here and then the nerves. Uh, and so all that stuff, it'll heal. Uh, it'll definitely heal. And just make sure you are educated. And when you talk to your doctor, make sure they don't, you know, force you into anything that you don't want to do. Um, you know, ideally you want to be a little bit more conservative and not just have them go in there and cut up things because uh, that's uh, <coughs> there. There's other ways of doing it, right? So we want to be aware of those uh, other things and. Um, like, you know, Graston technique and other stuff like that. <coughs> so we want to ask, you know, what's uh, what's worst case scenario, what's best case scenario, what are my other options, what exactly is the issue here, um, how bad is the damage, how long am I going to have to wait before I start rehab, and rehab is exactly what you want to do, because the, the, when you start moving, um, it'll kind of pump the excess swelling out, because your muscles will pump, and the um, lymphatic system this is what the lymphatic system looks like. Let's find one of the arm. So this green stuff here. Let's see. Anyway, don't worry about that. But <laughs> uh, the muscles will kind of pump the swelling out, and so it'll let uh, it'll kind of bring your elbow, your arm back to normality, so to speak. Um, and uh, it'll it'll kind of pull on that scar, that newly laid down scar, in a way to make the scar more functional. Um, same thing as Graston Technique would do, or re and, and uh, doing range of motion uh, and your rehab stuff will will do that. So <clears throat> you want to you want to find out what's going on. Uh, you want to make good choices about how to approach healing, and then you also want to make good choices ab about you know after the trauma's done, you've taken care of the trauma, um, you've taken care of the acute phase. Well, now you have leftover bits that we need to clean up and we need to fix so um, <clears throat> a doctor like Jen Rayner like I was I was telling you uh, she would be um, the kind of person I would go to if I had this sort of injury all right hope that helped